Yes, you read the title correctly. Another three-star Kuga location where sometimes you can get lucky enough to have two spawn in the same area. So, welcome. Thanks for checking out the video. Just want to give a shout out to Stannis who's been getting on me for the fact that I start all my videos off with, Hey, what's up guys? So, Stannis, that intro is for you. Hope you like it. Also want to give a shout out to Bruce O'Reilly who we end up meeting later in the clip. As well as Joe True who gave us a little tip about another location where a cougar is in... Lemoyne, I think a little south of Rhodes. So I did say that you can find possibly two locations. I had two cougars at this location. So if you go hunting, either bring a friend or possibly bring a second horse in case you do have that rare time where you do find two. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you that it is in fact a reliable spawn. It will spawn here pretty much every single time and it will be three stars as long as you kill it correctly. So I did mention in a video the other day where I found a location west of Blackwater in the northern part of Great Plains where I came across a cougar. I mentioned in that video that, you know, on my journeys around the northern part of the map, I ended up finding a location where there was two of them that spawned and unfortunately they spawned in, one disappeared and then the other one spawned right next to it. So I don't know how to really describe that, but at the end of the video, I can confirm with some messages back and forth between me and Bruce O'Reilly that he ended up having two spawn at the same exact time. So if you guys don't know me, I take a lot of pride in what I do. I don't clickbait. I hate it as much as you guys, if not more. So everything I post here is legit. I did mention in that last video that I found the location. I haven't really had time to go ahead and test it, and I do not want to post anything unless I can confirm that it does spawn consistently and that it is a three-star as long as you go ahead and kill it with a clean shot, whether it's with a bolt-action rifle, arrows or you know a repeater so here is the location this one is going to be just a little to the southwest of what is it blackbone forest and um you know this one's pretty good because there are the locations over at cholo springs the one i mentioned uh you know at the northern part of great plains to the west of blackwater and then according to um mr true there is that one that is somewhere in the Rhodes region, but I don't know exactly about that one. So big shout out to you for you know advising us of that that uh, location over there. So you'll see here this thing spawns right near this little river consistently. Sometimes it spawns right at the river, sometimes it spawns to the left or right. But this is the location that I keep pointing on the map. After every one of these clips, I'm going to go ahead and open up the map just to show you that it is in this area. Now you do notice there is a cougar icon on the map sometimes you see right there in this clip i oh no i don't know we get to the yeah, here it is right here for some reason it's not popping up on the map that there's a cougar there so kind of threw me off a little bit but regardless it is on the map a little south where that road and that river almost intersect with each other and the good thing about this one not too many people will be in this area. We're in Cholo, you might have a lot of people trying to do the same thing or waiting in Tumbleweed to poach your pelt or your carcass. Same thing with Blackwater. Blackwater is kind of a lawless town. I've had many instances myself where people just wait at the butcher shop or right across from the butcher trying to kill you to take your pelt. And uh, you know, that always kind of sucks. This time I think I ended up spawning in right on the hill. Kind of a bad location with the bushes there. So I didn't want to take the shot once he came at me because I didn't want to ruin the pelt. So I try to back up and get a cleaner shot so I can take him out. And you'll see every one of these clips, it is a three-star cougar. And it does spawn in this same general area every single time, which is a great thing. The downside about this location is it is a little further away from the nearest place where you can take it to a butcher, which would be in Strawberry. And you'll see in this clip right here, this is where we run into Bruce O'Reilly. I kind of noticed a little further back that there was somebody in the area, so I figured, okay, he's going toward Strawberry. Maybe he's going to try and poach my pelt or my carcass. So we kind of play a little cat and mouse game. It's kind of rare that you find people that aren't actually trying to stick it to you and take whatever they can from you. So we kind of have a little standoff here, kind of peek around the corner and see that, you know, he's actually coming with an animal carcass himself. So I'm thinking, okay, I might be straight and just go ahead and, you know, head to the butcher. But in the back of my mind, I'm always thinking maybe he sees a cougar on the back of my horse and he ends up blasting me in the back of the head to take it. Maybe it's better than, you know, whatever animal he just had right there. So that's always a plus. I always like to help people. So I kind of return the favor in the next clips and I'll end up showing you. I let him know about the cougar and I kind of help him and walk him through the steps of, you know, how to get it. And, you know, we'll get into that when we get into the messages. Done. So... Like I said, there's four locations now, so you have a good variety of places you can go depending on if there's people around the area. Like I said, this place is about, I'd say, maybe a minute and a half, maybe two minute ride 
to strawberry depending on your horse's stamina and all that. So here we go. I returned the favor. Once uh, we had this little bump in over in strawberry, I figured, you know, I always appreciate people that don't, aren't always trying to screw you. So I let him know that, you know, there is a cougar in that location. I think he was kind of over near the lake. So I said, hey, you know, there's a cougar. I had no interest in getting it. I just wanted to kill it for the video. Didn't really want to take it in. So I told him that there's, you know, the location north. He said he'll go ahead and take a look. And uh, just kind of gave him some info because he went there and there was no cougar. So we had to kind of take off and, you know, blah, blah, blah. So you can see right there in his message, he said he just had two. And it's not like two separate trips. He went there and he actually got two. You see my reply back to him. I was kind of shocked because my very first time there was two. One disappeared and then the other one came in. So I really didn't know how to think about that. But uh, he did confirm that he had two. Now you see all the other clips. I only had one. So it's not something that happens all the time, but if it does happen and you kill them both and they're both clean shots, you know, you could be walking away with $42 for that one specific hunt. And all you got to do is take it to strawberry, you know, take it to the butcher and basically get your money. So unfortunately what happened was he ended up taking just the pelts because I ended up running into him and I saw on his horse that he didn't have any carcasses. I'm like, hey, did you leave the carcasses? And I guess he just took the meat. So I kind of told him, you know, go ahead and take the carcasses. I guess there's one of the clips after this one. You can hear me. Uh, I had a little interaction with a pack of wolves, but you can hear as I'm skinning one of them. You hear a shot go off. You hear the cougar. And then, unfortunately, Bruce O'Reilly disappears off the map. I think he got killed. And then um, by the time he ended up coming back to kill it, I think it was uh, I think it was only one star. And I think that's because, you know, he didn't hit it cleanly. So I kind of told him, you know, it's just got to be clean, you know, all that stuff. So big shout out to you for not shooting me in the back and taking my cougar pelt and carcass. So I really appreciate that. And that's why I went went ahead and, you know, decided to go ahead and help you out with uh, some information. So hopefully, you know, you got a great location to go ahead and get your cougar, get some money, as well as everybody else between the one I posted the other day near the Blackwater area, just north of Great Plains and this one. Hopefully you have a good chance to get your money, get your pelts without really having to worry. And you can hear in this clip, you hear the gunshot go off, you hear the cougar. So he's also getting it. So this in fact does work. So I want to take this time to thank you guys for all the support on my videos, whether it's Red Dead Redemption, GTA the past couple days. If you're new to the channel, you like what you see, please go ahead and subscribe. It would be much appreciated. And, uh, you know, let me know how this works out for you, whether you like the Great Plains location or this one better. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.